In this tutorial, we're going to do a whole bunch of things. The first one is going to be a countdown timer that goes from 3, 2, 1 and then go so you can start playing. Then we're going to add the position list that shows us uh, in which position we are in a race. And we're going to add the AI racers. Okay, so if you look in our input manager where we calculate which of the nodes is closer to the player to display that node just for debugging purposes I'm just I'm gonna make a public integer and I'm gonna call it current node and I'm gonna set that current node after this for loop is done so current node is equal to I so right now I'm not getting any input in there and that's because this is not being executed because in the update I'm asking for the AI input. In this other else if statement, if I am playing as a player in here, I want to execute this calculations. Okay, so now we have the current node in here that displays in which node I'm the closest. So if I go in here, nodes will change obviously. So what we want to do with that is to put that inside a uh, object and then sort that object. So the way I'm going to use this number is to compare it to other players and ask if this number is higher or lower than the other ones. So if it is, then that means I am above them or below them. So let's, the, let's write the code behind that. In my manager script, the very first thing we want to do is get the list of every vehicle that there is in the game. So for that, I'm going to declare a list of game objects. And then in awake, I want to fill this present vehicles array. So the way we fill that is by saying present vehicles is equal to find objects with tag. The tag is AI dot game object. And now this line will get every game object with the tag AI. Okay, so what I did is I've set two other game objects as a AI opponents. And now these opponents have also the node count. And also in our uh, manager script, we have the present vehicles in a array list, but we don't have the player game object in this list. So let's add the player and let's add and let's build a algorithm to calculate which one is in the in the lead. Okay, so now we have all of the elements in this list. So let's make this private because we won't be seeing that anymore. And we're going to work with uh, this list. So the reason we're using a list instead of a regular array is that we can add any game object in any time we want. And after we add them, we can sort the array that we, that we want. So the next thing we're going to need to do is to sort this array. So it sorts by the highest number that the current node is in the attached game object. So to do that, we're going to need a separate method and that separate method is going to load in the arrays and it's going to sort them by the current node. So let's do that. Okay, so here is what we got so far. I've added some more uh, AI racers and it works kind of perfectly. Right now I'm in, in the lead and it shows that I am in the lead and these are below me. Now let's make a indicator somewhere in here that shows in which position I am in this uh, race. So first let's create some UI. After you've designed your 
UI, go to your manager script, create a new text for it. In order to display the current position of our current driver, we add another if statement in here that says if rr, which is referring to the uh, controller, the player controller right here. So if the rr dot car name is equal to the present vehicles in the index of i dot car name, that means we found uh, our current position. To display it, we display by saying current position dot text is equal to the index, this index right here, plus the slash, then another plus the full uh, array length, so present vehicles dot count, and this whole expression dot to string. So we hit save, and it works. Okay, so here is uh, the optimized code that displays if we are on the top of the leaderboard. And if we let somebody pass, we're going to become the last. Okay, so quick uh, recap. What we do in here is kind of complicated. So first we load all the vehicles. The, all the vehicles that contain the AI uh, tag, we load those into a uh, array, the, uh, a, a custom array, which we've built in here, that holds the node and the name. Next, we, uh, we declare another array, the full array that contains the, all the AI plus uh, the controller, the current player. So we load that by filling a list of game objects, and then transferring that list into that full array. Now the syntax for that is temporary list dot to array. So that loads in the list into the array. We need that array to update the names and the nodes into the vehicles uh, list. So here is where we sort the array and this is to display the array. Displaying the array, we're using a obviously a for loop, and then we need to reverse that array in order for the current position to work. And then we have a display array uh, void method that generates the, the list. After it generates one list, uh, the position of the list goes minus 50. So it leaves space for another uh, list. Here is where we instantiated and we have a timed loop to sort the array because as we know sorting arrays takes a lot of uh, cpu power and now we have a scoreboard and we have the index of the player now let's build a three two one countdown for the vehicles to start to move so i'm going to build a function for that and I'm going to build the function into the input manager because this is where the acceleration and the moving of the vehicle happens. So this will let us uh, change the countdown time as we want. In the fixed update, Okay, here is our function. It has a float variable and it has a countdown timer as a integer. The time left decreases according to the delta time. And we have a simple function to check if the timer is below zero. And here is where we can see the countdown timer going down. It goes down to zero and then we can drive. Okay, so this is our final result. 